Parrot versus Kali Linux. I don't use any of them. Okay, I use Arch. Okay, so we can change any standard Arch distribution into a Black Arch. Okay, and, and it's very easy if you want to do. Okay, the problem with Black Arch, it comes pre-installed with a lot of tools. Okay, its installation process is also tedious, and I kind of like Black Archcraft. Okay, so I wanted to make my own Arch distribution into a Black Arch, so I can install all the hacking tools. For that, actually, you. Um, you can come here uh, on the official website of Black Arch. Downloads uh, in the download section, you will find a section called "Install on top of Arch Linux." Black Arch Linux is compatible with existing normal Arch installation. It acts as an unofficial repository. Okay, you can run it. Okay, just run these uh, lines of code. If you are here just to want to convert your own distribution into Black Arch distribution, just run this script. If you want to know what's happening behind the scene we will talk about this thing and if you see if you want to see me doing this thing uh you can jump to somewhere of my okay i will link timestamps okay so you can jump through my videos if you want so for that it is saying it would be the part of an official repository what are repositories let's look at official documentation of arch linux a software repository is a storage location from which software packages are retrieved for the installation okay okay so this is the location from where all packages are stored and we can get them and install them. Uh, these are the official repositories, core, extra, extra. Uh, let me show you, okay, just, um, if I zoom, hackman, if I do like tag si, uh, uh, Ronnie. Okay, so Ronnie will be installed from core repositories okay and it's an official repository okay that's fine but if i wanted to install something like uh, parox poster i won't be able to do it why because it's not part of any official distribution or any official repository not distribution official repository so you mean these are the location there where your all the tools can be find and retrieved so let's look at there okay so we can look them at uh, etc and uh, pacman config pacman.conf okay here's it so this is the extra uh, these are the official repos extra um, core community there's an unofficial one for archcraft as well this distribution has created their own repository and there's no black arch that's why we cannot install any black arch tools or hacking tools so for that uh, let's see if i can open any of them let's cut out this thing and these are the links these are the server where all your uh, packages okay all your uh, arch linux packages are hosted okay you can see them uh, and why so many links that simply mean they are redundant okay so if one server goes down you can uh, you can use different server okay it's a good thing to have different server uh, so many uh, as many as you can okay so yeah and these all repositories consist the same thing okay if i open this one and okay it has the also the same thing okay just okay only visual changes okay just remove it and we can walk through like core repository or select your architecture and we can search like uh fair uh, crony and you have crony and you can install it from here extract it install it and verify with the signature but you don't want to do it again and again okay so for that we have a tool called pacman and pacman is a package manager okay it install it it downloads it install on your system okay you don't need to download it from here then verify the signature you don't need to do that okay and that's why it's great but the thing is uh, there's no ferox buster or go buster okay uh, it's nothing like that okay you can look in other repositories like community and uh, select os and this will gonna take a bit of time because these are the repository tools created by community people okay uh, not community people these are the tools which are widely used okay so and community people of course it is community project open source so the thing is we can search like go buster and i cannot find go buster because this is not a part of uh, this is arch linux is not a hacking distro black arch is a hacking distro so if i wanted to get this repository okay so i need to run this command okay i have to first install this script download this script and this script consists some of the instructions uh, you can read through it okay some of the instruction to add these links in your system okay 
so first of all let's verify this thing okay i can verify it it's okay i can change the permission from here okay executable permission now you have to execute this with pseudo privileges remember that okay uh, and now installing the arch key rings okay and after that you will be able to install all the hacking tools okay and here is it it's syncing all your tools and it's here your all the server list available enable multi lib following okay you have to uh, you should okay you don't have to but you should enable multi lib and how can you do that uh, let's see okay if you wanted to enable multi lib okay pacman.config uh you can find multi lib somewhere okay here is it okay if it is commented something like that remove the pound sign okay remove it enable it okay and that's all and now you can see we also have archcraft okay sorry black arch okay so now we have black arch uh, so we can see their links like for an example if i do pacman pack d slash black arch uh, let's cat out this now these are the servers which are hosting all of your hacking tools okay around the world like let's open the japan one okay this maybe they are maybe ftp okay i have to remove i think pawn sign uh, dollar signs okay again a new visual thing you can also install ova and iso from here okay uh, so let's talk about just black okay black arch os and architecture arc 64 whatever you want to collect and if i search here something like go buster i should have this thing go buster okay here's it okay and you can install it by clicking here and look at this thing it's still taking time it's a huge repository okay if you look here it's a huge repository okay now you have all the hacking tools uh you can install it from so let's give it a shot if i do now Parox buster yeah i can install it now because it's available in the arch repository and i have installed the arch repository so for that i can just do it okay and run it now i have Parox buster okay we are good to go so that's how you can install uh, or any hacking tool on your arch distribution and that's how you can convert any arch distribution into a hacking distribution uh, just you have to run these commands okay i just shown you how things works behind the scene so you know actually what is happening and today you know why pacman is an important tool you don't need to do a lot of hustle and this is this is not the case with pacman this is case with yum and uh, other package manager like apt okay uh, they works in similar fashions okay so thank you so much for watching okay see you why this just stop the video stop it